There's four chambers in your heart. Uh, there are two atria, right and left. The actual pacemaker for your heart is in the top part of your heart, which are the atria. Atrial fibrillation relates to the atria. And instead of having a nice clockwork-like rhythm, nice and regular and smooth, maybe a heart rate of 70, atrial fibrillation is a very irregular rate. For some people, it's a normal rate in terms of speed, you know, say 60 to 80 beats per minute. But for many people, with atrial fibrillation, when they've got up, the rate is too fast. It'll be above 100. Um, and those people are at risk of heart failure. Most often, the patients with atrial fibrillation, their heart's a bit worn by a history of high blood pressure or other cardiac problems. And if you look at the atria, if you look at the chamber where this comes from, it's often dilated and it's not pumping very well. Because it's not pumping very well, because the blood flow through the chamber is slow, people form blood clots there, often very large ones, some of the largest clots that could ever form in the body. And when those break off, they can go anywhere, but mostly they go to the brain. And a large clot to the brain means that it's often going to be a very large stroke. And those strokes are generally the largest strokes that people get, those that come from atrial fibrillation or from the heart from some other cause. Thank <laughs> you.